In today's video, I'm going to take you to the rainforest of Sumatra in Indonesia. And this was by far my most expensive, the furthest, the most adventurous photography thing that I have ever done in my entire life. So let's get into this video and let's go back to my time in Sumatra. So in May 2014, uh, my wife and I got married and we planned our honeymoon uh, in Indonesia. And uh, of course, uh, my wife wanted to visit uh, some beautiful beaches. I wanted to have a bit of adventure and we always like to travel through countries. And so we decided to plan a road trip through Indonesia. We started in Sumatra, then went to Java and ended on Bali. And in this video, I'm going to take you back to the first stop of this trip. And that was the jungle of Sumatra. Uh, we were going to Gunung Loser National Park and uh, I have read somewhere online that uh, uh, it was possible to see wild orangutan there. And uh, of course, as a nature photographer, uh, and uh, to, to see a species like that in the wild, uh, that was one of my wildest dreams for years. And I just wanted to try and see if I could uh, uh, yeah, get to that point. So, uh, yeah. Two days after our honeymoon, uh, we got on a plane, uh, we flew to Dubai, uh, from Dubai to Jakarta, from Jakarta to uh, Medan. And I think after more than 24 hours uh, of traveling with planes, we landed in the Medan uh, airport where we were picked up by a, a guide from our lodge. And we had to drive for almost four hours before we uh, got into the, uh, the jungle uh, of Sumatra. And when we got on the island, uh, we walked out of the, uh, uh, the airport, got into the car, and I was shocked. You know, I had never been to Asia. This was my first trip to Asia. And uh, oh my God, it was so crowded. And all, all those lights, all those cars, uh, I just almost got mad there. And uh, uh, for a couple of times, I thought to myself, where, where the hell did we start on? <laughs> this was... Uh, a totally different world but after an hour or two uh, it got less crowdy and then we entered uh, uh, the areas with all those palm oil trees and uh, to be honest it, it's a bit sad because uh, uh, our guide told us that that was actually the point where uh, maybe 20 30 years ago that was where the rainforest started and we had to drive for another one and a half hours through palm oil fields before we uh, entered the jungle and uh, yeah, it's just a sad, uh, that was a really sad moment because I could really see at that point uh, what uh, deforesting had done to that place. And uh, yeah, it, it was quite a shame actually. So finally, in the middle of the night, we arrived in our uh, 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 local uh, uh, place where we were staying. It was called Bukit Lawang. That was the place in uh, uh, Sumatra that our, our hotel was in. And uh, we, we booked this lodge, it was called On the Rocks, and it is on the top of a hill in the middle of the rainforest. And uh, so we had to cross a river on a little bridge and walk up the stairs all the way. So uh, our guides just got all our baggage and uh, pulled everything up to this uh, hill for us. And by then we were, I think we were up for about 30 hours <laughs> before we got there. So this was by far the longest we have ever done to get to our destination. And uh, yeah, it was totally worth it that I have to say that but uh, uh, by the time we got up to this uh, hill uh, our uh, uh, the owner of the lodge was waiting for us and he gave us something to drink and uh, my wife was looking around a bit like everywhere and uh, the owner asked us uh, what's wrong is there something wrong and so my wife uh, uh, asked him uh, yeah are there any snakes or spiders here and I thought to myself just say no just say no and this uh, this this guy he just said of course it's a jungle <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is going totally wrong. But uh, so my wife was a uh, little bit freaked out at that point because uh, by then I had told her, oh no, it's all going to be okay. But uh, <laughs> it didn't. So we got to our, uh, our apartment and uh, there was this beautiful view uh, into a valley uh, onto the river. And uh, uh, we walked into the house, a beautiful bed. And uh, the bathroom uh, uh, looked very cool. They've, they've put this, uh, this liguana on the wall. And uh, it looked amazing. So we walked in and immediately underneath this liguana were a bit of a rock form formations. And from that walk, this, this giant spider <laughs> came out of it and started walking across the bathroom. So uh, yeah, we 
walked back to the owner and uh, he walked with us and made that, uh, that spider get out of the apartment. And uh, uh, you will understand that the next night we slept in a different apartment because we didn't close our eyes at one point. It was <laughs> we kept looking around and everything we heard, was, is there another spider here? So the next day uh, we talked to the owner and he said, I have another apartment if that's better for you. So we went to this, uh, this house here and the view was a little bit, uh, uh, we couldn't look as far, but the next morning uh, our giant group of macaque monkeys was sitting on top of these uh, uh, yeah, beautiful trees in front of us. And uh, there was even a young one uh, there. So it was a really beautiful place and it, uh, it was so remote. And uh, the only thing you can hear were sounds from the rainforest. So it was uh, really beautiful there. So the next morning, so this was the, the second day that we did. The first day we, uh, we only uh, uh, did nothing. We, we sit on a chair and uh, laid on the sun uh, for the whole day. And after that, we uh, booked a tour. Uh, to see the orang utang and uh, it's just uh, they don't know where they are of course they uh, they know a little bit about their routines and uh, we just started walking with him into the jungle and uh, this is actually the first uh, image uh, in the in the jungle and uh, you can see we have our uh, our uh, trousers and pants in our uh, socks and uh, they advise that uh, so no animal can uh, can get into it or it, it decreases the chance of any snakes or spiders or anything uh, biting you so that's the way we were advised to uh, walk uh, through the jungle there. And uh, yeah, you can see all these, these beautiful trees and waterfalls uh, around there, small streams of water. And uh, yeah, the paths are just really amazing uh, through, this, uh, through this forest. And yeah, at one point, uh, uh, yeah, we stopped for the first monkey that we, uh, we've seen. And uh, I think this is called the Thomas Leaf monkey. It's a really rare monkey. It only lives in the Gunung Losa National Park. There's no place else in the world uh, that it lives in. And it's just this beautiful monkey with, with a sort of a mohawk on his head. And uh, yeah, it just looks amazing. They are really beautiful, quite big actually. Uh, uh, and yeah, really friendly. They were very curious. So they started looking at us uh, when we walked by there. And uh, this is the first one that we, uh, we've seen uh, at that point. And all these, this is the path that you are walking on. Uh, yeah, it's just, Everywhere you look, it's rainforest. It's it's the sounds that you hear in movies. Uh, that's what it was, and uh, so quiet. And uh, the only thing you heard were, were the uh, the guides with their knives cutting away some leaves uh, here and there for uh, for us to uh, to walk through there. And yeah, at one point uh, we finally found our first orang utang. And by then I didn't have a, a really good camera. This is back in uh, 2014. Uh, I think this was with the Olympus uh, E520 or maybe the Olympus E3. And uh, I had a 7300 lens with me and a 150 uh, macro lens, which was a 2.8. And it was actually a pretty good uh, uh, lens for long distance uh, photography also, because it was very, very uh, light strong. So uh, <laughs> I took that lens with me and a wide angle lens to shoot some, uh, some parts on my way. And those were the three lenses that I uh, uh, had with me. So at one point we found the first orang utang, but they were really far up in the trees. And those trees are just enormous. Uh, uh, when you look up there, so uh, they were sitting all the way up there and uh, it's pretty dark and on the other side of those leaves it's very sunny. So it was really difficult to expose these, uh, these animals right and uh, all these images are a bit dark and uh, they are almost every one of them is, is a bit of movement in them. And even the, a young one that just, uh, just jumped from another uh, branch to, uh, to another uh, on the other tree. And uh, yeah, it was really nice to look at it. And yeah, I, at least at that point I thought, oh, I've seen the orang utang and it's, it's good, but it got better uh, later on. So uh, we, we moved further uh, from, uh, from that location. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a picture of me uh, standing in the jungle. And yeah, this is uh, our guide showing us the giant ants that were uh, walking out here. This is one of the reasons why you had to put your pants in your socks. Uh, yeah, these, these ants, they are just gigantic and I uh, actually don't know if they really bite, but uh, he just got one from the ground. So this is another uh, Thomas Leaf uh, monkey we uh, got onto a group uh, later on also. And uh, yeah, this is a, just a beautiful picture. This monkey was sitting still and I just love this image, the, the look in his eyes uh, coming from behind this tree. And uh, yeah, I re I'm really happy with uh, how this uh, image turned out. And uh, a couple of meters further, we stumbled upon a mother with her young, and the young is completely white. And yeah, it was just so curious looking at us all the time. 
And uh, first, I love this image. And uh, I had another one, uh, which is this image, which was just a little bit uh, movement in it. And it wasn't completely sharp. And I never used this image until I started re-editing the images for this video. And I used some uh, uh, Topaz Sharpen uh, yeah, software <laughs> on this image. And it came out really good. So I'm just actually really happy with this, uh, this kind of videos because it, it pushes me to uh, look back through my older uh, images and find these uh, gems like this shot uh, with this beautiful uh, young monkey just uh, looking at us. And I think it's just such a cute uh, photo and I really love it uh, right now. So uh, from that point on, we started moving on through the jungle and uh, yeah, there was this beautiful uh, rivers and the water was really beautiful of colors. And uh, yeah, th this is me uh, uh, sitting next to this, uh, this stream. And by now you can see uh, uh, yeah, that everything was wet from the sweat. It was so hot there. I think it was uh, uh, maybe 30, uh, 30 to 35 degrees, but the, uh, the moisture in the air, it was so high. Uh, yeah, it, it was just amazing. So <laughs> it's, it's all sweat and stuff coming from, uh, from where you never expected it would come from. So uh, yeah, this is another path. Uh, this was uh, used quite regular. There are a couple of paths that were, uh, yeah, bigger paths through the jungle and some paths they just had to cut uh, to, for us to walk through. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, amazing. Uh, this is a gibbon monkey. Uh, yeah, this was sitting uh, on top of a tree and we, we stood there for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and it never moved. It kept, <laughs> it kept in that tree uh, sitting like that. Uh, it, I thought it was sleeping, but later on I saw that its eyes were open. So uh, I don't know what it was doing, but it was just uh, sitting there. But a beautiful, uh, a beautiful monkey. And uh, it's a shame we couldn't see it moving because they can move really fast uh, through the, uh, the tree tops. So after the, the gibbon, uh, yeah, we, we walked further uh, through the rainforest and at one point uh, our guide spotted uh, this uh, uh, orang utan and we were amazed and this was actually pretty close. Uh, it was a bit more on eye level and he actually warned us uh, about uh, the backpacks and all that stuff uh, that we had to uh, uh, keep it on our bodies and if uh, the orang utan was approaching us then move backwards. Don't put off your backpack because if he got it, he would take it into the top of the trees and uh, he wouldn't come down anymore. So especially my backpack with the camera uh, stuff in it, I was uh, a bit scared at that point, but uh, luckily they always kept the distance to us. And uh, yeah, it, it was really nice to watch them. And we, we first saw this one and uh, later on another smaller monkey came down. So it was the young of, uh, of this one. And they really interacted with each other and uh, they were eating fruits uh, from the trees uh, there. And it, it looked like they were starting to, uh, to make a show for us. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I will show you a couple of images now from uh, these orang utang. And yeah, that was just uh, an amazing sight to see them in the wild, in the jungle, in Sumatra, Indonesia. So after we'd seen this uh, orang utang, uh, yeah, I was just really happy and uh, uh, yeah, this, this was an amazing trip and I would never would have expected uh, that to happen. But uh, the trip actually continued. Uh, you can see a picture here from me with those two orang utang that you just saw. There's one on the left of me is the big one and on the right side is this small one uh, in the top of the tree there. And uh, yeah, we uh, uh, continued uh, yeah, through the rainforest and uh, yeah, the paths were uh, uh, almost inaccessible. And we knew that we had to go back by boat, so we walked in one direction and we would take the river uh, down back to our hotel. But uh, they never told us what kind of boat it was or anything. Uh, 
and <laughs> it was uh, really something special i can tell you that so we walked uh, through the jungle and uh, uh, eventually uh, our guides uh, found this open spot where they prepared our lunch so they brought everything with them in our backpack so we, they put on banana leaves on the ground uh, cut uh, uh, the fruits for us uh, they brought some uh, some rice uh, cooked rice for us uh, so it was really nice we were sitting there in the jungle with all these sounds this silence and just eating this fresh cut fruit and uh, yeah it was an, an amazing experience so I think when we were eating our lunch, it started to rain a little bit. And uh, at first we thought, oh, we might be lucky. But really soon after that, it just got into this big monsoon rain. It was amazing. I have never seen so much rain in my life and it just poured down. I've got a little video clip here uh, of that moment uh, where, where the rain started and from this point on the rain came and it never stopped raining until we got back to the hotel and yeah, it was uh, <laughs> an amazing experience I can tell you that so uh, uh, at one point uh, we found a little uh, house an old uh, abandoned house in the middle of the jungle and there used to be a refuge uh, center there where they uh, uh, take care of uh, orangutan that were sick but they moved that to another uh, direction a little bit further into the rainforest and uh, we walked into this uh, uh, yeah, little house to shelter for the rain uh, for a minute. And uh, at that point, uh, uh, I think after a couple of minutes, just this big orangutan just yeah, swung into the house and climbed into the, the roof, uh, the, into the ceiling of the house. And it just uh, sat there to shelter for the rain as well. And we were just standing underneath it. And it was such an amazing experience with this wild animal just sitting above us. And he was looking at us like, what the hell are you doing here in the jungle? You guys are stupid. So, uh, yeah, it, it was an amazing moment. I did get a, catch a photo of it and uh, there's a little video clip, but it's really dark, so I don't think uh, you can see it much. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I actually caught this uh, image, not even with my normal camera, but I had, by, back then I had a little underwater uh, camera from Olympus. And uh, that's actually the one that I used uh, from this point on to record some uh, photos and some videos because uh, uh, I didn't dare to get my, uh, uh, my photography gear out, uh, out of the bag. So uh, finally, uh, we decided to walk on because this rain wasn't stopping and uh, we had to get back before dark. So uh, we finally reached uh, the river and uh, yeah, the water was just flowing like madness through this uh, river also due to this rain because all this rain went through this river and uh, uh, back then uh, we were standing there and our guide just told us look that's one of the boats and then we are waiting for the next one and we were like okay this isn't a boat this is more like a rubber tire raft <laughs> that's going to take us uh, through the river and you can see in the background there were all these uh, the enormous waves and uh, going through and uh, yeah it looked amazing but I was thinking to myself, I've got all this camera gear in my bag and I had this rain cover over it, but if my bag would have fallen into this river, then it would definitely have been a problem. So uh, I took some images there with the rocks in the foreground, but this is all with my small camera. I didn't dare to get the big one out. And uh, by then uh, the cameras that I had wasn't that uh, very good weather sealed, but I'm actually pretty happy with this shot because it actually shows uh, yeah, what the rainforest uh, was like back there, this river flowing through and all these trees, these rocks and of course the rain. So finally uh, we got into our raft and uh, got onto the river and I got a couple of clips uh, from uh, on the way, uh, some beautiful waterfalls uh, uh, down the way uh, uh, on this raft. And uh, yeah, those rapids in the water, they really, it was it was going so fast in the especially the first section later on it got a little bit more easy but in the first section it was just really madness going into that raft and uh, later on they told us that that was all because of that rainfall so uh, yeah i think that was the last uh, uh, image uh, of that day and uh, yeah you can see on this these clips uh, uh, from from the video footage all with the small camera so sorry for the bad uh, quality of it but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy that I have some video footage in this, uh, this image. But yeah, that was the trip to uh, Sumatra. And yeah, I'm just especially happy with this, this Thomas Leaf monkeys and this orang utan shot that were uh, yeah, really amazed me. I'm still very happy that I have these uh, yeah, in, in my possession or in my portfolio. And uh, yeah, and hopefully 
these animals will stay in the wild for uh, for some years because they are threatened uh, very and they are endangered so uh, yeah what they're doing there to to keep that rainforest uh, intact is uh, really important uh, for these animals so hopefully those uh, palm uh, oil trees won't move on uh, too far but uh, yeah I'm just really happy to have been there and I hope you liked uh, this little trip down the memory lane with me uh, uh, through Indonesia. So thanks for watching. If you like uh, my videos, uh, next Sunday there's going to be an on-location video. And uh, if you like it, uh, this video and you want to see that, then please push the subscribe button if you didn't already. And uh, also push the thumbs up button. You will massively help this channel to grow. So uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I always like to interact with my audience. And uh, yeah, hope to see you on the next video. That's uh, this Sunday. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you then. Bye bye.